most common excuses that I hear from people saying that why they can't go vegan is because it's too expensive. No bullshit. It's it's not expensive. I mean, if you buy if you buy like these like specialty like vegan pizzas and you buy like all these vegan special things like vegan cheese like yeah it's going to be expensive it's going to add up but you don't need to buy all these specialty vegan things you can just buy foods that are vegan like most very very cheap foods when you go into the store are vegan uh, most people don't even like think of, like when they think of vegan they think of like all those specialty things I was talking about but all plants are vegan obviously uh, so I have a list right here of all the very cheap uh, vegan options now these are the cheapest of the cheapest so I don't just eat these things actually some of these things I don't really eat that often so anyway rice rice is really dirt fucking cheap rice is literally probably cheaper than dirt actually like if you went to Home Depot and bought some dirt it would probably be more expensive if you bought that amount of rice um, I probably cook rice like twice a week when I'm at school at least and I well when I say twice a week they're like giant portions so it can feed me for like two days um, and I also throw like other things in like mixed vegetables beans and stuff like that another thing is dried beans uh, dried beans are gonna be a lot cheaper than canned beans although I pretty much just eat canned beans because they're um, they're a lot more convenient <laughs> and they're a lot quicker um, they cost a little bit more, but it doesn't really break the bank. So beans, either way, is just going to be really cheap. But if you really want to save money, go with dried beans. Pasta. Pasta is also really, 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 really cheap. It's 89 cents for a pound of pasta. Most people will not even eat a pound of pasta. And that's only 89 cents. Most people eat like a half a pound of pasta. So I, eh, what is that, like 40, 44 and a half cents. Plus some sauce, so you might be looking at a buck for a meal <laughs> if you pour on a lot of sauce. Cause that's another thing. Like if you buy uh, sauce, like, like from all these, there's two dollars, two dollars for normal spaghetti sauce, or three dollars for organic. Ooh. Um, so that's really cheap. Bread is also really cheap. We have just been plowing through ciabatta bread recently at our house. We've just we go through a lot of trends, and right now we are just plowing through ciabatta bread. So. Bread is normally really cheap. Popcorn is also dirt cheap. It's probably the cheapest thing on here. And actually, that's how movie theaters make the bulk of their money. Most movie theaters don't even make a whole lot of money from ticket sales. Most of them make, like, most of their money from the concession stand when they're selling popcorn because they have to, you know, pay for the rights to show the movies and then uh, paying for, you paying for the ticket doesn't really add up to all that much but when you buy all the popcorn like say you get the huge thing for like seven bucks with three refills it costs them like mere cents to give that to you and even if you get a refill it's probably not even costing them a buck <laughs> and you just paid seven dollars for that that's like a couple of like hundred if not thousand percent increase in profit so popcorn is really cheap another thing that's like probably the second cheapest thing on here is oats Oats are really, really, really cheap. And when I eat my oatmeal, I just dump the sugar on. So don't tell me that it doesn't taste good. You can dump the sugar on, which is also a great way to really save money. And I know if my mom's watching this, she's going to be cringing when I say pour sugar on things. But it makes things taste really good. I know. Strange, isn't it? Sugar makes things taste good. But it also makes things really cheap. So sugar, oatmeal, water, I just throw in like some frozen fruit. Uh, it can be organic, it can not be organic. I don't really give a fuck about organic that much. Like... I eat probably like 20% organic things. Um, so a lot of people think that when you go vegan, like you have to buy organic everything and that you um, have to shop at a, like a specialty food store or something like that. But I go to Wegmans and Aldi's and the farmer's market. That's where I get like all my stuff. So you can go to all three of those places. Well, maybe you can't go to Wegmans because there's not a whole lot of them. But anyway, they're, they're pretty normal grocery stores. That's where I get all my food. Uh, another thing is potatoes. Russet potatoes especially, they are dirt cheap. Everything on here is dirt cheap if you haven't noticed. Um, so russet potatoes are actually really good for making french fries. Uh, you have other ones like red potatoes and fingerling potatoes, which are really cool. They can be purple on the inside. Awesome. Um, you know, they're, they're also great for just like throwing in a stir fry uh, or just like my rice and bean combination and stuff. Uh, I'll put them in there, make, uh, so I use, basically just put it in like rice and beans and make french fries out of them, those are like my two main ones, and same thing with sweet potatoes, actually, around Thanksgiving, the Wegmans near me, um, when I'm at school, uh, last Thanksgiving I, I bought so many sweet potatoes, because like, around Thanksgiving it was 33 cents a pound, so, 
I bought pounds and pounds of sweet potatoes. Like I filled up a bunch of bags of just sweet potatoes, and I just I just eat them plain because I love sweet potatoes. I don't need to put anything on them. Um, beans are running over that. Bananas. Bananas are really cheap. Even if you get organic, they're really cheap. I mean, if, you, if you're not getting organic, that's 49 cents a pound. So you can get 40 pounds of bananas for like a little over $17. That's really cheap. That's about uh, it's maybe like 115 bananas for like 17 bucks. That's that's like a couple days worth of food. Um, uh, carrots, whether you're going organic or not, very very cheap. Whether you get the baby carrots or like the normal size carrots, they're just really cheap. Onions are also very cheap as well, and cabbage. Now those last three are not very calorically dense things, so if you want to just like throw them in like a stir fry or something, I mean. I'm not really a huge cabbage fan, but if it's in something, I'll eat it. Uh, onions, eh, carrots. I like carrots. I like juicing carrots. That's probably my favorite way to have carrots. But, yeah, these are the cheapest of the cheapest as far as vegan goes. Uh, I mean, that's obviously not all I eat because that would be a very boring life. A life without guacamole and hummus and salsa is just no life at all. Especially hot sauce. Frank's Red Hot. Oh, yeah. A life without those things is just a terrible life to live. So those things, plus, you know, add in whatever else you like, condiments and spices, and it'll be very good tasting, very cheap way to eat vegan.